The latest eruption of the Sununka crater chains in the Swarzenegger volcanic system of the Reckonus Peninsula was different. It was on top of the other ones, previous ones in the past, but it lasted longer than all of them. So we are now seeing that many weeks now has passed and this volcano is yet erupting. So let's just go through this uh, volcano. This is the latest image, as you can see, 3D model. I'll give you the link for this. You can see this is after the collapse of the cone and uh, practically cracking. You can see that the side which collapsed is toward the left and the side which was the old side and it was erupting toward the south is toward the right now. And this is the main crater which is now survived. This is K1. This is the name I've given to it. K1 is the only one which is erupting. It's be practically becoming something like the Little Quarter or the Fegadestial Volcano. It's growing bigger. If you have collapses, it had a lot and is now having more. And this collapse is creating platform inside it which makes the blockage. The area it's covering is mostly on top of the previous eruptions. You can see the sourcing on the uh, left side and blue lagoon to the left. Uh, I show you here the wall, defensive walls around it. And then we are going toward the south gradually. Uh, you see that road, the road which is uh, to Grindavik is uh, partly covered by that, but it's now open again. You see the Thorbjorn, that's the biggest hill to the near the top. You can see the L7 uh, and L12 and L13 uh, defensive walls. To uh, which have actually stopped and directed the lava flow. Uh, it didn't reach the sea. This tongue of lava you are seeing now, the lower part of the image, Green Dovick is to your left. The lava tongue has not reached the sea. It was a danger that we thought that it may reach the sea. It didn't reach that, uh, uh, that far. Uh, of course, the previous lava, as you can see, faint colors of it. That shows the previous eruptions have reached actually the sea, not this one. Mainly because we uh, we solidified the lava by building these walls, practically blocking the access, and uh, the pre uh, the uh, consecutive lava flows which come in that direction cannot pass this barrier of their own solid lava from the a few hours or days before that. So the lava flowed through uh, back toward the mill hole, which I show you in a few seconds. You can see that mill hole. This is the piling up of the lava near the right side. You see, I'm gradually trying to bring it to the center. This is an interactive 3D map you can see here. That This hill you see there now appearing toward the right side is the Hagofell. I'm now going toward the Mel Hole. Hagofell is to right again. Mel Hole was filled with by this lava flow, which couldn't go any further toward the sea. And it's uh, 1 million cubic meters, or maybe more even now. Uh, it was a low topographic uh, feature, now it is a high topographic feature, filled up with the basaltic lava. You can see the Torbion Hill where most of the cameras are located. You can see Swartzengi and the Blue Lagoon on top of the image. That's the road which going road number 43. Then this is the Hago Field again. We are going to look at the main crater. You can see the main crater K1 here again. The smoke is rising from there. The wind direction at this time was toward the south. And all the previous eruptions, you can see this is the, again, we are looking at the, uh, this is uh, Thor, uh, sorry, Hagofell. Uh, we are gradually moving again toward the main crater. This side we are looking at is practically located in the Eurasia. Grindavik is also located in Eurasia. What you see on the top side of the image, that line of lava, beyond that is the North America or American plate. Uh, so practically this is the, where the land is pulled apart. You can see the lift va rift valley where actually we have this uh, volcanism happening there. This is Grindavik lift, rift valley, I call it. Old Sundunka is now almost at the center. You can see the new Sundunka is just to the right of it. These are the craters. That's the crater K1. You can see it's red. It's uh, glowing with the a light of the lava which is erupting there. There's a cauldron there. You can actually play with this and just go for the HD version of this map. It increases the resolution and uh, you, you can do a lot of things. You can even watch in 3D if you, you know, adjust it for your, uh, if you have a 3D viewer, a virtual reality one, you can use that. This cone is now growing 
becoming something significant gradually significant in the scale of this eruption of course in the world the scale of eruption this is just a small one this is what happens all the time in the bottom of the ocean and the mid-oceanic regions now we have it in the land visible to us we are lucky in that sense is growing gradually building something like a shield if it lasts bigger and if it will uh, grow a little bit bigger different this is the north part north fissure you could see that that's a cease to erupt after a few days and the south fissure continued this is a very interesting 3d model i try to give you a tour of this i give the link in the description